For some beginner astronomers, finding the right telescope can seem like a daunting task. To help beginner astronomers, we have created this simple guide to offer some help on what every newcomer needs to know and ask themselves before purchasing their new telescope. Let's start with the types of telescopes. There are three types of telescopes, refracting telescopes, reflecting telescopes, and Cassegrains. What's the difference? Refracting telescopes are the most common telescope around. They use lenses instead of mirrors, and the eyepiece is located at the end of the telescope. It should be noted that images from refractors are mirror images, and can be corrected using an erecting prism, but doesn't have a large effect on your viewing experience. Refractors are the easiest to use and to maintain due to the simplicity of their design. Reflecting telescopes use a mirror instead of a lens, and the eyepiece is located at the top side of the main tube. Reflectors usually have larger apertures, which means excellent viewing of faint deep sky objects, but generally, they are not suited for terrestrial use. This is because images from reflecting telescopes are upside down. This makes it suitable for astronomy use only. Catadioptric telescopes, or Cassegrain telescopes, use a combination of mirrors and lenses. These telescopes usually have a nice modern design and have 3 inch and larger apertures. Two of the popular Cassegrain designs are the Schmidt Cassegrain and Maxutov Cassegrain. These are some of the most versatile and most portable type of telescope with excellent lunar, planetary, and deep space observing. They are also ideal for terrestrial viewing and photography, but tend to be more expensive than reflectors of equal aperture. Now that you know what types of telescopes are out there, let us discuss mounts. A mount is an important part of your telescope and can determine how easy it is to follow a star while viewing it. There are two basic telescope mountings, equatorial mounts and altazimuth mounts. An equatorial mount, simply put, allows users to follow the rotation of the sky as the Earth turns. This is a great help when you're trying to find your way among the stars with a map. The altazimuth mounts, in contrast, have a simpler design, meaning they just swing up, down, left, and right. You have to move the scope every so often to follow the stars, moons, and planets as the Earth turns. One of the more important features of a telescope is the aperture. Aperture refers to the diameter of the telescope's main optical component. The size of your telescope's aperture determines how much light it can capture. The more light that is captured, the more objects you can see in the night sky. More light also means greater clarity in the images. The larger the aperture, the greater the detail you will see. When selecting the aperture of your telescope, be sure to ask yourself where you want to use your telescope. If you are thinking about your backyard, then having a large telescope will be great. If you have plans to take the telescope to darker skies, you will need something smaller and more portable, but still powerful. Now that you know some basics about the different types of telescopes, the first question to ask yourself when looking to purchase a telescope for the first time is do you know what you want the telescope for? Our suggestion is to do some research and decide from there. Remember that Mead's customer service is always available and is eager to assist with helping you decide what Mead telescope is the perfect one for you.